Hardcore YouTube, welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. Today's a very important video because, guys, look, look what happened. I got a new camera. Look how fucking sexy this camera quality is. Look at, holy shit, guys, you can finally see my bed in 4K. Like, look how th this is this Logitech Brio, dude, amazing. Yo, thank you, Veil Shot, for recommending this. This is amazing. When I got this, I was like, holy shit, I can't stop staring at myself right now. I look so good. Look, it's me, but in 4K. Oh my god, and hold on guys, um, before I start the video, I just want to like do a little mic test. So this is the, um, my microphone from the headset. Alright, testing, one, two, three. Hello, how are you? Now I'm going to switch to the other, uh, the Logitech uh, microphone. Let me go, let me know what you guys think about this one. Hello, welcome back to the Diablo Immortal video. I don't think this mic is as good, there's a lot of echo in the background, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section down below, but... I'm so excited. Now I'm going to make some good content. Fuck a green screen. You guys can see my bed in 4K now. <laughs> All right. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to get stronger as a free to play player, low spender. All right. Just to verify guys, like I said before, I said in many videos, I am all obviously free to play. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, honestly, jokes aside, I am not free to play. I spent a decent amount of money. I have 2,600 residents on my team manager now. And also guys, you know that if you buy a pack and with the orbs are actually um, cross class transferable. I don't know what the fuck I just said there. Yeah, the orbs are cross characters in, in the same account. So right now, if you see, I have 120 orbs on my alt. If I go to my main, I will also have 120 orbs. So what I was doing pretty much was I would buy packs on my alt that have orbs in it, and I'll use those orbs to buy legendary crest on my main there you go 120 so pretty cool trick if you guys have an ult and you guys don't want to spend money straight up just on orbs you can buy packs that way you have you can benefit your alt and your main besides that as a free-to-play player guys very simple things to do uh first thing you should always do is obviously go to ibn fods all right you don't need 377 keys every single time to clear all the rooms uh, I, every day, what I do is pretty much I go in there and I'll just clear the first room if I don't have a full amount of keys to clear everything in Ebon Fods. So when you're in Ebon Fods, it's always good too because you get a guaranteed 4 Asperger keys, <laughs> Asperger keys, which is good. So even if you don't clear it, you know, 4 keys a day adds up, right? And obviously you could do your assembly every single day, buy the keys from the Hilt Fender, and whatever methods you know you can do to get keys, always get those because these are pretty important. Because what you want to do is essentially upgrade your left side stats, your secondary stats, so your willpower, fortitude, etc. And the coolest part about this, guys, you don't have to pick up the gems, by the way. I That's way too much work. I just open the chest and get the fuck out of here. It's actually really good, especially if you're doing a full run. Fuck picking up the gems, because they just mail to your mail. Which is way better. Like, <laughs> it saves so much time. Because fuck it, but fun. Look at this. Go here. What do I got? Oh, look at this. All that, all these bright gems. That claim all, read all, delete all the red messages, because who has time for that kind of shit? And there you go. Now I have... Bit more gems it's not too much but once a day you know it, it adds up that shit adds up once you're satisfied with your residence you know you spent all the platinum you want to get gems and what um legendary gems and upgrade and stuff like that what you want to do more importantly is focus on your secondary stats your armor armor penetration potency resistance what i recommend especially if you do battlegrounds and pvp i'm stacking resistance because if you're a free-to-play player or even a low spender it doesn't matter how much armor you got because if you're gonna fight against a whale, you're gonna get clapped either way in one shot. But resistance is good because if you get stunned, feared, frozen by wizards, you know, because that's annoying as shit, slowed down by them, at least if you have resistance, you have a chance to escape because that reduces the duration of any CC by enemies, by uh, players as well too. Next thing I recommend, definitely go for armor penetration because this will boost your damage for crits or your crit damage i mean so if you're able to be a glass cannon and kill people that's perfect next thing i'm focusing on is armor if you have armor you have a bit more survivability potency is a very kind of like difficult attribute to really focus on unless you are going full i guess bleed dot uh, cc build you don't really need potency because chances are you're going to be fighting people in, in battlegrounds who have like 2,000, 3,000 uh, resistance and that's it's not going to do anything. Like you'll fear somebody, it'll be a fraction of a second. And also for necromancers, if you guys didn't know, the bone wall pillar does not actually benefit from potency because it's not an actual CC, it's a knockup. So even if you stack 
three dollars of potency the stun duration for the bone pillar is still going to be the same amount of time no matter what no matter how much resistance someone's had no matter how much potency you have it will always be the same amount of time that's why necros are so good in battlegrounds no matter no matter how much resonance or potency you guys have but resistance is key for me because i'm tired of being stunned by monks in their circle I'm tired of being frozen by wizards tired of being feared for 10 seconds that's probably the best thing you could do right now is focus on resistance so once you guys are satisfied with the resonance and your legendary gem levels like for me for example i'm not going to go any higher in these unless I get lucky with you know finding a five star gem uh, unbound and I sold it for a shit ton of platinum I can buy more gems I'm not gonna be leveling this shit up so 745 residence is what I have right now I got lucky with <laughs> these bounded gems this is I'm telling you I'm, I have the best RNG ever I'm satisfied with this now what I want to focus on for example is getting baby gems on the left side and ranking up damage gems uh, sapphires to boost your armor penetration and your resistance gems so like i said before same thing when you're doing ebon fods and whatnot you want to focus on resistance armor penetration armor life then potency that's my order that's what i think is really good you know it's not necessarily uh, what other people might say but this is what i do and it's doing pretty good for me in battlegrounds so because once you get these stats up it's gonna make a big difference it's gonna make a huge difference i'm telling you guys so obviously um best way to do that too is farm your hidden layers you get six gems there and then farm 12 gems as a party of four and just try to rank them up once if you don't need the platinum number three um this is pretty underrated um conversation here simple charms this shit is my favorite i would always buy simple charms from the limit time vendor if it ever appears and also i'll buy my three simple charms every week because this way this is how you get abilities on your charms and i'll actually show you guys how this works I, th I don't think a lot of people understand how to actually imbue a charm or how this works or how to increase the damage on these ones like i got i got lucky as hell here i got a six percent crossbow shot by imbuing my own charms i never buy them by the way i never buy skill stones from the market i only buy s simple charms from the vendor and the ch simple charms you get from your daily codex so how it works guys i'll get a quick little rundown over here okay i'll move my camera back here you upgrade a charm all right you need to get alchemical powder and that the way to do that is by salvaging simple charms so if i salvage this one i'll get 10. i'm not going to salvage this one because i want to upgrade it and see what i get here normally i would upgrade a charm that already has a demon hunter ability so i don't have to gamble and you know waste a uh, potential simple charm but for the sake of video i'm gonna try this hopefully I get a demon hunter ability please please oh my god what a fucking waste anyways oh uh, this charm's shit so what i'm gonna do Actually, wait, this charm's pretty good. I'm gonna keep it from Necro. Okay, fine. I'll go buy a charm, a skill stone from the market. That's the Demon Hunter ability. Let's see what I get here. Let's see what I want. Hmm. Rain of Vengeance damage, Vengeance, maybe Knife Trap, maybe Multi Shot, Multi Shot. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna try to buy a Multi Shot. Go from low to high, 1956. Okay, fine. I'll buy this one here. Okay, fine. I'll buy this one. For the sake of the video, guys, alright. Okay, so now that I have a Multi Shot, skill stone here's how it works if you want to imbue let's say uh increase the damage of a certain ability so i will select the charm i have right now that i want to imbue press imbue press the ability you want to upgrade all right so what i thought initially let's say i want to upgrade multi-shot i thought you would have to pick another ability that's not multi-shot for example knife trap and then if it rolled multi-shot it would add 2% damage automatically to multi shot if I landed on it. But that's not the case. It's actually a completely random number on multi shot if I get it. So I'll show you guys here. So select multi shot, select the skill stone, and now if I land multi shot, it may be an upgrade. So let's go right here and view. Please, let's get it. Alright, so I didn't get multi shot, I got electrocute. And then you have the ability to choose new skill which will replace multi shot or keep the original skill. But there are times when, let's say, it did land a multi shot, there's a chance from going from 2% to 10%. So that's how I was able to get crossbow shot at 6%. Because I'm not a whale, I'm not gonna keep buying skill charms to show you guys how it works. But believe me, that's how I got 6%. It's my first time I ever get, got that, and I was very happy. So definitely try doing that. Always buy charms, that's very, very beneficial. And if you guys don't like it, for example, I don't like this charm. Um, if I don't like this charm, you can extract it for 500 uh, platinum. So let's say you get a charm with five skills you don't like, like this one for example. Uh, fuck it, I'll just do it. I'll just extract it. Extract it for 500 platinum, and then you can sell it 
on the market for Platinum. And because it has three Necro skills, one, which is, one is Bone Wall and Command Golem, which is very popular uh, Necro abilities, I can probably get this for 2500 Platinum. There you go, that's a very underrated thing that people overlook. Uh, simple charms are very important. A lot of people don't understand why it's good. I love it. I buy it every single day, and that's how I make most of my Platinum on my alt and transfer my platinum to my main. And the fourth way to make your free to play characters stronger, honestly, is all RNG at that point. Just grind, farm, hopefully you get blessed by RNGs and get gear like me. Like, look, look at this shit. 250, 254. This is the only thing in the game that you cannot buy. Money cannot buy this. You cannot buy gear like this, you know. This actually requires blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of work, a lot of grinding, uh, you know, like, this is fucking fantastic, like, I can't believe I got this, and grind dungeons, you know, um, get your legendary crest, your internal legendary crest every single day, uh, sorry, every single week from raids, you know, farm mats, upgrade your gear to level 26, so you can get five reforged family bonuses, go to the crest merchant, buy your crest, your free ones that you can buy with platinum, your internal legendary crest especially, because if you can get lucky and get, let's say, a 5-star gem that's sellable on the market, there you go, you're rich. Um, another really sweaty method is to just do 35 freaking Elder Rifts <laughs> a week to max out on your Embers. Get 22 Fall Ruins, go to the Jeweler Girl, and craft an Eternal Legendary Crest. And that's pretty much all you can really do as a free-to-play player. You know, besides that, like, this is a Diablo game. It requires a lot of grinding. Honestly, I I don't want to be a massive whale because, like, I I can kill these guys in Battlegrounds, okay? It's like, and imagine spending the money for, like, a down payment for a house and getting killed by someone who has half your resonance. I would be very upset if I was spending that much money and I was still getting destroyed by people who have like 2-3k residents, right? You know what I mean? And especially with a game like this, where Battlegrounds is so unbalanced, I'm, I'm not I'm not willing to spend that much money right now, alright? Diablo 4 is coming out, save your money. So there you go, 22 Foul Ruins right here can craft you an Eternal Legendary Crest. And that these crests can give you unbound gems to sell on the market. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.